The extreme heat many of us have endured this summer is also being felt in the oceans, and that's having a devastating impact on some wildlife. The coral reefs off Florida should be vibrant and colorful this time of year, but after some of the highest recorded water surface temperatures, scientists are seeing a very different picture. CBS's Manuel Bohorkas shows us. Scientists with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, took us to a spot known as Chica Rocks off Isla Morada. Chica Rocks has been one of the reefs that's really held on. So this is a resilient reef. This has been a resilient reef. Has been up until now. Yeah. Ian Enox has been doing research here for about 10 years. He was not prepared for what he saw. A virtual moonscape a condition known as bleaching. Extremely warm water causes the coral to lose the algae it needs to survive, leaving them looking like ghosts. This is what it looked like in 2017. You know, as a scientist, we are trying not to be emotional. For me, just seeing the scale of death, it's hard to kind of come to terms with that. It's not subtle, it's 100%. A nearby marine buoy in the Upper Keys measured the surface water temperature above 100 degrees last month, which scientists believe is due in part to human-caused climate change. Now there's a race to save the coral. Just put one here. Ironically, by removing them from their habitat. We are trying to rescue as much of the genetic diversity and much, as much of the stock that we have is paramount to the survival of these species in the Florida Keys. How many you have here? Thainer Montoya Maya is program manager of the Coral Restoration Foundation. Volunteers have been taking 20 different species of coral from the sea and to their partners at the Keys Marine Lab, where they are placed into tanks that simulate more normal conditions. The goal is to keep them alive and return them once the waters have cooled. We have seen a species disappear, but an entire ecosystem, we haven't seen that. And I don't want to be part of the generation that sees that. This is about more than coral. Reefs cover less than 1% of the Earth's surface, but are home to 25% of marine species, making them critical to the food supply, tourism, and shoreline protection. It's a fragile ecosystem at risk, one Ian Enox, despite the odds, isn't willing to give up on. We have too much at stake. And so we have no other option than to, to, to try to turn this around. And I think we can. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Isla Morada, Florida.